the knee was not designed to ski necessarily. Park City, skiing, knee injuries, their skiing is conducive to knee injuries. For, for worse for most people, unfortunately for them, but it's a good place for us to be because we see a lot of injuries from skiing. We see hundreds of ACL injuries a year, uh, typically about 350. That's a pretty good number. Usually people, when they injure their knee, they skiing, they've got a big long lever arm, they have a rotation to the knee, it causes the knee to pivot shift, and when it pivots, it tears the ACL. Sometimes you get an, a mechanism where the MCL gets partially injured or sometimes completely injured, and then the meniscus gets torn. If you're young and active and you want to do cutting or twisting sports or ski hard or do things that are, are typical of the, the Park City person, um, you'd need your ACL reconstructed. We often have to, to help it heal at a later date, and that's where something called PRP or platelet-rich plasma can be a benefit. People that get lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow have had it used. People with Achilles problems have had it used. Um, and we think that there's really no downside to it and a potentially significant upside with these growth factors. Well, we've been doing PRP on everyone that we do ACL reconstructions on for the past three plus years. So now I specifically talk with people about doing that. I will say we are going to use platelet-rich plasma. We're going to pull a couple of vials of blood out of your arm. We're going to spin out the platelets and we're going to basically sew it into the middle of your, your ACL graft to, in, to enhance healing, we think. We don't have a lot of data to support that from an orthopedic standpoint, but we've seen it from other tissue healing studies that it's beneficial. There's actually a greater healing response. The, the ligament actually heals bigger and stronger. People seem to heal a little quicker. They seem to um, recover a little bit faster. We don't have any way to really document that effectively, so we're getting ready to, to do a big randomized prospective study where I'm going to be blinded to the results until they're completed. So it's a really, it's a really nice study that's going to be very definitive. What I want to do in this study is prove what I think is true, which is that the PRP is enhancing the healing. What I'm hoping to actually document through MRI scans is that typically we don't let people go back to sports until six months. What I'm hoping to document that is that the PRP accelerates the healing, so maybe we can get let someone go back at three months or four months instead of waiting till six. And that would make a lot of people happier, I'm sure. This is the only center that is doing a study like this or of this kind. And we've been able to work with the people in the operating room, the people in the MRI scanner, the administrators. Everyone's been great here at Park City Medical Center. We've been able to get some of the companies to agree to, to help with the cost of their bracing. They'll get uh, you know, several MRI scans for nothing. They'll be actually able to see and document their healing. And uh, they'll get a, a little bit of a cash benefit to it as well. This is just the, the tip of the iceberg as far as biological um, enhancements in healing uh, that are going to be taking place in the future. And I think over the next 10 to 20 years, we're going to see some pretty neat things that come out. But uh, the, the platelet-rich pl plasma is just a nice um, you know, starting point. And uh, things are continuing to get better.